Jesus wasn't white. <laughs> and he didn't speak English. And he was Jewish. And he's very different than me. And don't you black people ever forget one thing. The man that helped Jesus carry that cross was a black man. And don't ever forget another thing. Jesus belongs to Africa as much as he does to Europe and Asia. He was born in that part of the world that touches Africa and Asia and Europe. And Jesus was not a white man like me. He was born in that part of the world that touches Africa and Asia and Europe. And Jesus was not a white man like me. What's one thing you can say to a white Christian conservative that will immediately make them upset? I'll go first. Racism is a sin and Jesus wasn't white. So what's one thing you can say to a white Christian conservative that will immediately make them upset? I'll go first. Racism is a sin and Jesus wasn't white. Shalom Yasharala. All praises and glory goes to our mighty power, Yahweh. Bashem Yahushai, Bashem Rekah Kodash, double honors to the apostles of Great Millstone. Citations unto the elect and feeding the sheep of Yahweh Bashem Yahushai, sincerity and the truth with this great gospel, with this great gospel coming out of our Bible. And guess what? The truth is coming out. The truth is out here. Yeah, Esau Edom try to fool you with that false image, right? Try to fool you with <laughs> their selves as God on earth, right? But what times are we in right now? This Psalms 85 and 11. Truth shall spring out of the earth, and righteousness shall look down from heaven. I'm going to read it again. Truth shall spring out of the earth, and righteousness shall look down from heaven. And what is the truth? The truth is that the Lord and Savior is not a so-called white man, right? It's not a so-called white man. And um, we know that the Lord not sprang up out of Edom. Uh, the Lord sprang up out of Judah, right? And not Jewish, <laughs> Jews. I know damn Jewish. Don't we? Not, Yahweh Shai did not wish he was a Jew. Did not wish he was a Jew. That's you fake ass um, small hats in the land of, in our land claiming to be us, right? On earth, you got something called identity theft. Identity theft. And that's what you got happening right now. You got people that done stole our, our identity. And um, that's why our identity continues to change. Hispanic, Latino, right? You, you, they, they took away your mind, your Aztec. They took away all that and gave you something different. The name of your slave master, right? I'm going to read the book of John. Read John 4 and 23, but the hour cometh. And now is when the true worshipers shall worship the Father in spirit and in truth for the father seeketh such to worship him and that's the main thing the truth if you want to if you want to seek the lord you got to worship him in truth and the thing esau gave you a lie because the main thing is what <laughs> seeking the father man the main thing is seeking the father we're in the time where it's time to seek the lord i'm read this again but the hour coming for now is when the true worshiper shall worship the father in spirit and truth for the Father seeketh such to worship him. Yeah, the Lord is calling us back. And there's no way you could return back to Yahweh through Jesus Christ. Because there's no such person as Jesus Christ. Right? Even when um that Borgere motherfucker was walking around, he didn't even call himself Jesus Christ. So what you got going on? You got a lot of deception going on, right? Let me get this verse. This devil put in work to keep you people blinded, to keep you in darkness. Why? Because he's trying to stay on top, right? He's trying to stay on top. Book of Revelation, I'm read 12 and 9. And the great dragon was cast out, that old serpent called the devil and Satan, which deceiveth the whole world, and especially with that image of Caesar Borgia. 
image of Caesar Borgia and there's a philosophy that comes with that image, right? Right? There's a philosophy that comes with that image that God loves everybody bullshit, right? That everybody could be saved. That everybody is God's people, right? That, oh yeah, God loves even the gays, right? God forgives all sins, right? God is here for everyone. That's that bullshit philosophy, right? You can do whatever the fuck you want to do. Just come over on Saturday and then Jesus will forgive your sins. In the name of Jesus, God will forgive your sins. That's some bullshit. That's some bullshit. Revelation 12 and 9. And the great dragon was cast out, that old serpent called what the devil, that devil, deceiver, and Satan, right? Our adversary, which deceived the whole world, he was cast out into the earth and his angels were cast out with him. And um, there's going to be a punishment for deception. There is a punishment for deception, right? There's a punishment for deception. It's the book of Galatians 6 and 7. Be not deceived, the Most High is not mocked. You, you done mocked the Lord and his son with that fucked up ass image, right? With that pale image, right? That um, leprous image, right? And you done deceived the people of the Lord, you done deceived the people of the Lord with that image, and you done committed multiple atrocities underneath that banner, right? In the name of God. We came here in the name of God. We came here to um, civilize the Native Americans underneath Christianity, right? They um, kidnapped the uh, people on the west coast of Africa underneath Christianity, right? Right? You had the Pope, Caesar Borgia, a false image was set up underneath Christianity. Right? Galatians 6 and 7. Be not deceived. The Most High is not mocked. For whatsoever man soweth, that shall he also reapeth. And um, these people, they done sold wickedness and idols and false imagery and false philosophies on the earth. And that's why we're at the time with, of the revelation. The truth is being what revealed. The truth is being revealed. And really, there's nothing these devils could do. <laughs> there's really nothing these devils could do to um, stop this truth from going out. And we know um, this word is not going to be stopped. And read the book of 2 Thessalonians. Let's read 2 and 10. And with all deceivableness of unrighteousness in them that perish. Because what? Because they receive not the love of the truth that they might be saved. I don't like black Jesus. I like white Jesus better. Yeah. I like white Jesus better. What, what you Hispanics say? The black Jesus is ugly. Yeah, I like Jesus Christos. Jesus Christos, beautiful. But black Jesus, I don't like black Jesus. I like white Jesus. You don't, you don't, you ain't even thinking about the, the truth, the, the gospel, the man who came to die for you. Thinking about some false motherfucker in his his pale body and the long stringy dog hair, man. You are under an illusion. You are, you are. That's why I'm gonna read this again. And with all deceivableness and unrighteousness in them that perish, because they receive not the love of the truth, that they might <coughs> be saved. White Jesus can't save you, right? Jesus Christos, I love Jesus, Guadalupe, Mother Mary, I love them. No, nah, them motherfuckers can't do nothing for you. That's why y'all fucked up in the game over there right now, man. You got the Mexican cartel setting everything on fire, right? You got the fucking drug dealers and murderers just burning bodies, setting cities on fire. That is the judgment of the Lord because I love Jesus Christos. I love Jesus Christ. The Lord fucking you, Jesus Christ lovers up. You're tearing that ass up. I'm reading with all deceivableness, right? You've been deceived. You've been deceived by the imagery of a false image of Jesus Christos, a white boy. Mm -hmm. And with all deceivableness and unrighteousness in them that perish, because they, they received not the love of the truth that they might be saved. And for this cause, what did the Lord do? And for this cause, the Most High shall send them strong delusions that they should believe a lie. You're going to continue to believe in Jesus Christos. Jesus Christos. Jesus Christ. Jesus Christ. All right? And guess what? You're going to perish. You're going to perish.